in another galaxy many light years away, a being from the planet Tefez stepped into a spacecraft and set forth for the planet Earth. It was a beautiful night here on Earth when the spacecraft landed in the middle of a large meadow. The unusual sound and light woke Michael from a deep sleep. As he rubbed his eyes and looked out of his bedroom window, he just couldn't believe what he saw. There in the meadow, a friendly-looking little being stepped out of a funny-shaped spacecraft and gazed around at this interesting planet called Earth. Michael ran towards the spacecraft to welcome this visitor from a distant planet. Michael was the first to speak. Hi, my name is Michael. My name is Waybar. I come from the planet Tefez. Would you like to come to my house and have some cookies and milk? Cookies and milk? What are they? They are types of food that we eat and drink here on Earth. Oh, but how will you eat and drink? You have no arms and you have no mouth. On Tefez, we have learned how to use the power of concentration. We can lift and move objects with the power of our minds. Pay attention, and I will show you the power of concentration. Wow, the cookie is floating in the air and heading towards the place where your mouth should be. Look, it disappeared. Now the glass of milk is rising up. Wow, Waybar, that's excellent. Gee, it's getting kind of late and I'm getting sleepy. I think we should go to bed now, and tomorrow I will show you some of the things that we do here on Earth. Early the next morning, Michael introduced Waybar to his mom and dad, who were, needless to say, very surprised. After a good breakfast, Dad said, How about taking a walk with Michael and I? We can show you some of the things we do here on this planet. I would like that very much. Don't forget to give me a telephone call and let me know what time you'll be home. Have a good day. Okay, Mom, we will. Yes, dear, we'll give you a call. What is a telephone? A telephone is something we use when we want to talk to someone who is too far away to hear our natural speaking voice. On Tefez, we can send messages with our minds. I'm afraid we're not that far advanced, Waybar. Yeah, we still have to dial a number and wait for the phone to ring. As they were walking along, Waybar, Michael, and his dad saw some little children playing on the road. Those children shouldn't be playing on the road. On Tefez, we do not have roads. We transport ourselves by the use of our mental powers and molecular beaming devices. Well, Waybar, we have many cars, trucks, and buses that drive along these roads. And often, accidents occur and people are hurt very badly. Sometimes, they even die. Little children playing on the road, playing on the road, playing on the road. Little children playing on the road, ooh, looks like trouble. Will they see the car? Will they see the truck? Playing on the road is playing with bad luck. Little children playing on the road didn't see the big truck coming. Big tractor trailer driving on the road didn't see the little children running. Little children running on the road, running on the road, running on the road. Little children running on the road, ooh, looks like trouble. Playing on the road, everything is fine. Car is coming fast, hey, will it stop in time? If the big car doesn't stop in time, that will be a bad thing. And if the children don't move in time, that will be a sad thing.
sad thing Little children playing on the road Running on the road Playing on the road Little children playing on the road Ooh, looks like trouble Having lots of fun Riding on your bike Riding on the road Is something that you like Just remember everywhere you ride There's a car or a big truck You might be thinking luck is on your side I hope that doesn't mean bad luck Little children playing on the road Running on the road Riding on the road Little children playing on the road Ooh, looks like trouble Little children playing on the road Running on the road Riding on the road Little children playing on the road Ooh, looks like trouble lights up ahead what do they mean those are traffic lights waybar michael let's sing the traffic light song for waybar and if you feel like singing just join in Breath. 
That was fun. Yes, we have a lot of fun singing. What do you think of our tour so far, Waybar? It's very interesting and unusual. I'm getting hungry, Dad. Let's get something to eat. My super smelling powers. Tell me there is a type of food in this large green plastic bag. Yuck! That's a garbage bag, Waybar. That's yucky. Yucky? What is this word, yucky? Well, Waybar, it's a funny word. Let me try to explain it to you in this song. some fresh fruit, Dad. Okay, Michael. There's a market just around the next corner. Why are those children yelling and pushing each other? It looks like they're going to have a fight. A fight? What is a fight? There is no such word on my planet. A fight is something that happens when you let your anger go. I have never heard this word, anger. 
Is it a sign of danger? As a matter of fact, Waybar, you could say the two words have a lot in common. Listen, this song will help you understand what I'm trying to say. Put a D in front of anger, and what do you get? Danger, danger, danger. Put a D in front of anger, and what do you get? Danger, danger, danger. Hey, when you're playing hockey, and the game gets kind of tough, be careful not to let your anger grow. The stick you hit the puck with is made of hurt and stuff. Yes, I did, and it's such a nice day, we thought it would be fun to have a barbecue tonight. Yay! I love barbecues! I am learning many new words today. What is a barbecue? A barbecue is when you cook your food outside over a fire. There is another word I have never heard. Fire. What does it mean? Do you mean you don't know the words fire or hot? That's right, Michael. On Tafes, we cook our food in molecular and magnetic sonic oven. We have another song that will describe the word hot. Would you like to hear it, Waybar? Yes, I would. I'd like you to sing along with us. There are so many things around us each day. Things so hot they can burn through your skin. Well, I'll call out the names. Here's a game we can play. You yell hot. Now let's begin. What's a match? It's hot. A candle. It's hot. A barbecue fire. It's hot. A stove. It's hot. A furnace. It's hot. And a fireplace burning. It's wires can sometimes cause fires now let's see just how much we have learned i'll call out some 
names of things that have wires you yell hot if you think they burn electric oven it's hot. electric toaster it's hot. a kettle boiling water it's hot. electric outlet it's hot. electric iron it's hot. electric light bulb that's lit Sometimes be hot enough to burn through your skin. I'll call out more names and you can sing with me. You yell hot. Now let's all begin. Hot chocolate. It's hot. Soup. It's hot. Tea when it's steeping. It's hot. Boiling water. It's hot. Coffee. It's Well, here we are back home. Did you enjoy our little walk, Waybar? It was fun, but a lot more tiring than leaning down for mental transport. I'll get the barbecue going, and we can introduce you to some of the food we eat here on Earth. Yes, Michael. And after we eat, you can think about what you would like to do before you have your bath and go to bed. Ah, uh, Mom, I don't want to go to bed. I want to stay up late and talk to Waybar. Michael, you know it's important to get your proper rest. Mom and Dad love you, and we want you to be healthy. Besides, I'm sure that Waybar has to get back to Tefez very soon. That's right. I should be leaving shortly after the barbecue. Yes, I really did. It was delicious and different from anything I have ever had on Tayfest. I guess I should be taking my bath now. What a strange sounding word, bath. This bathtub is where I take my bath. What is that slippery substance you are holding in your hand? It's called soap, and it is very slippery. Dad, let's sing the Slippery Dippery Soap song for Waybar. Yeah, but 
enjoyed singing that song well I guess I should be getting back to my planet I have learned many new things from you and I thank you for your friendly hospitality uh, you have to go now yes I'm afraid so will you come back and visit us again Yes, I will be happy to. Before I go, do you think we could sing one more song together? Sure, Waybar. Here's a song that tells what we should be doing all of the time. Listen, stop, look. 
Crewe and his mom and dad wave goodbye to Waybar as he heads his spaceship into the star-filled sky. Goodbye, Waybar. Bye, Waybar. Goodbye. Bye, Waybar. Goodbye. Bye, Waybar. See you again. See you again. Oh, he's gone. Well, he'll be back again soon, Michael. <laughs>